have a lot of titles. I was like, oh my God. I mean, you have a lot of titles. <laughs> I don't know. I think you might have more than me. I don't know. I was like, oh my God, look at this. That is amazing. <laughs> Congratulations thank on you. all your success and thank you for being here. I appreciate thank you. Okay. So I heard you love the holidays just as much as me. I do. You do? I mean, my family is not as into it as I am. I may be a little over the top, but yeah. it's okay. A compromise. <laughs> the tree went up right after Thanksgiving, like the day after, like immediately in yes. the car, go get it, and it's yes. up. But I had some lights on before Thanksgiving, so. <laughs> is this your tree? That is my tree in my onesie, yep. Uh I love that. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. We did a good job. My whole family actually uh, helped. I mean, not all of them helped, but they, they tried. So y'all like decorate all together? Yeah, it was yeah. like a fun tradition. It's, it's like we were kids, but we're older. You're older. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about the holidays? It's, it's cheery. It's cheery? It's merry and joyful. Yeah. And forget all your problems for like a second. Yes, <laughs> yes. I love that. I love it because I'm the same way. Congrats on your book. Can you explain the title, Rise, My Story? Um, I've, have, I've faced a lot of obstacles in my life. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of injuries, you know, personal problems. Um, and I just wanted to share my experiences and hopefully help others in their journey. Um, talked a lot about mental health um, and, again, just everything that I've gone through. So it was a very reflective book, I think very therapeutic to write. I wrote it kind of right as I was retiring from ski racing. So. I think it's more about me as a person um, mm -hmm. than necessarily me as a ski racer, but hopefully it translates for everyone. Beautiful. <laughs> Talk about the challenges you face with depression. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people didn't really understand the concept of, you know, how can you be an Olympic champion mm -hmm. and have depression? Um, I've been talking about it for like 10 years, and you know, Naomi Osaka and Simone Biles are all talking about it now, but back then it was like, well, that's impossible for you to have that, you know, and like, they just didn't understand it. And um, it was hard to be at the top and then you go back to your hotel room and you're completely alone and it's very isolating actually. And um, I struggled with it since I was 18 years old and, um, you know, I found ways to take care of myself. And I think that's also one thing that I found writing the book is, you know, different ways of understanding myself, taking care of right. myself. And I really believe that mental health is just as important as physical health. And they all I both have, you you know, they're that. all tied together. That is so important. So true. Um, talk about like having low self-esteem. Cause a lot of times I have to say that people do think when you can achieve so much and you're successful that you're not human. And this shows the human inside of someone. So can you, hearing from someone like yourself on these things, I think makes a huge impact and a difference. Well, thank you. And I mean, I, again, I think sharing my story is just part of my process and my journey to be able to understand myself. But, mm -hmm. you know, after I won the Olympics, you know, I always looked at my body as, you know, a tool to be able to succeed. And um, when I started to be invited to red carpets and talk shows, yeah. you always make, you make me feel good. Uh -huh. But, you know, being... <laughs> on the red carpet with people that are half my size was shocking. Mm -hmm. And I felt for the first time that maybe I shouldn't look the way I do. And it really got in my head and yeah. I, I struggled with that for a long time, but I feel great now. I'm, you I look know. great. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that. It's funny you say that. I feel like I could relate to that in some way. Cause I used to, you know, being in the industry, I'm a tall girl and I was a heavier girl and I would see people and I used to like, I'm not too big, you too little. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what, you know, I like that's to find. That's a great way to look Yeah, like. that's what I would yeah. tell myself. Don't forget to subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you're the first to see our latest videos.